and welcome to your 30th Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually send some emails. Um, so let's go ahead and open up your views.py file, and we'll start importing a package that we'll need. So in this tutorial, we're going to send an email via our um, views, um, and it's just going to be a text-based um, email. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how they do uh, send HTML based email. So let's go ahead and import a package we'll need. So from from Django, that's not how you spell Django, Django contrib, uh, oh, not contrib, core dot mail import send mail. All right. So you either got send mail or send mass mail. Um, now, I just want to caution you with send mass mail. Uh, that function will actually um, CC all the email addresses in there. So if you don't want your website users seeing everybody on your um, email list, do not use send mass mail. Um, use send mail and loop through um, and send your mail that way. So, all right. Anyhow. Well, and I'll show you how to do that in a couple tutorials because we're actually going to set up a uh, uh, way to send newsletters and we're going to have to loop through everybody's in our database. So uh, I'll show you how to use send mail and loop through it. But anyway, let's get started. In your newsletter sign up uh, view, we're going to go ahead and say, uh, send a email when we are... Uh, when the user submits an email. So, sorry, I was just looking at my notes real quick. Anyhow, uh, so we want to send an email when it's successful, when they successfully add their email address to our sign-up sheet. All right. <clears throat> Not when it's an error. We don't want to send it. So, uh, where the instance.save is in the else statement, we're going to go ahead and add some uh, variables here with some information. So, uh, first one we're going to do is the subject and the subject is the subject of your email. So we can say, thank you for joining our newsletter. All right. Uh, next one's going to be from email. So what email address is this coming from? And we're just going to say uh, settings dot uh, email underscore host underscore user and you notice I got a little red squiggly line under there it's because we didn't import something and that is the settings file so we want to go ahead and have access to the settings file so we're going to do from Django dot conf import settings there we go all right so now we have access access to that settings file and we get email host user which is our email address that we put in our settings file um, next one we're going to do is to email and the to email is where we're sending it to. So we're going to send it to instance.email because that's where the user's putting in their email. But one thing is it has to be in a list. So don't forget that, uh, in the list. So the square brackets and then instance.email. All right. Uh, even if we're sending just one email address, so it's got to be in a list. Um, next one we're going to create a sign up message. So this is going to be the body of our um, of our email so sign up message so sign up underscore message and um, I don't know welcome to master code online's newsletter and then I like to put in here a way for them to unsubscribe just in case like they did it by accident. Um, you don't want people coming back and being like, oh, I didn't sign up. You're sending me all this crap. You know, you piss people off like that. So let's try to avoid that. So we're going to say, if you would like to unsubscribe, visit. And we're going to hard code this in because this is going to be a text. Uh, document in the next tutorial I'll show you how to um, actually add your email address to an HTML document so 1270.0.1 colon 8000 forward slash news 
newsletter, I believe we called it, forward slash unsubscribe. All right. And that should be good. Now, uh, we have to use the send function. So we're going to get and use the send function. Now, the send function has um, several required arguments. Um, and you're going to see them right here. So we got subject from email to email and sign up message. They're all required. They're only required ones. There's many other options. Um, I'm going to show you one that we're going to use to handle errors. But other than that, go ahead and check out Django's documentation on all your um, parameters that you can throw in here. So anyhow, let's go send underscore mail. And we're going to do uh, subject is equal to subject. We'll do uh, from email is equal to, oops, that's not from, that's form from email, oh crap, I screwed it up, is equal to from email. And then we're going to do, uh, next one's recipient list. And that's equal to to email. So where are we sending it to? Uh, message, that's equal to sign up message. And then uh, we're going to add a parameter. Um, Call it fail si silently. So if we set this to true, uh, we won't get any um, exceptions. But if we set it to false, then we'll get an exception explaining why it failed. So in um, development, I set it to false normally. Um, but when I go to production, I will set it to true or just remove it because default is true. Um, that way we um, don't have any issues down the line of... I don't know, um, errors being reported that we don't want to handle. So we'll say fail silently for f set the false for now because we kind of want to know if there's an error. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. Um, all right. Uh, so I had to pause the video real quick to open up my email account. But uh, go ahead and go to your uh, um, your sign up. URL, so sign up, and we're going to go ahead and add email address to test this out, make sure we get an email, so let's go, uh, I'll put in my personal email, and we're going to send it, we should get a successful message, but we didn't, I got error, I got bad credentials, So that's why we make it si uh, fail uh, silently. So uh, just hold on one second. I got to check my settings to make sure I change my password. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So it was my password. I never changed my password to my actual password from password. We set it to fail silently um, to false. This way we can actually see if there's an error and what the error is. It said username and password not accepted. So I figured it was right in my password. All right. So if we set it to true, we would have never got this error. Um, so let's go back. I have to uh, remove that email address because it was saved because we run save before we run the email. Um, so unsubscribe. Let's go here and run it. Get rid of it. All right, cool. So now back to sign up. Back in there. Set that and send it. Now I shouldn't get an error. Hopefully. There we go. Email is sent. Um, so if I go and look in my email address, I'm gonna slide, my email account here, I'm going to slide it up. It's down here at the bottom. I'm going to open it. I just didn't want to show all my stuff in my email address here. Email account. So here's our message. Welcome to Massacre.online newsletter. If you would like to unsubscribe, visit this link. So if I click on this link, yeah, yeah, yeah. That will take me to unsubscribe. Uh, I spelled unsubscribe wrong in our in our newsletter, so that's why we get an error page. Show I'm just on a roll today. I'll slide that back down there. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so you guys get the idea there. Make sure you spell correctly. Well, let's go fix that. So 
I don't screw that up either uh, later. All right, cool. So that's all set. Um, now we want to, I want to send one that says, hey, you know, when someone unsubscribes, we say, hey, sorry to see you go. Uh, let us know if there was an issue with our service or something like that. So, um, and, and also notify them that their email address has been removed. So let's go ahead and throw that into our, whoops, I need to copy from here. We're going to copy it because I'm not going to write it out again. So um, where's our success? Right here is our success because this is where we actually delete it. So we'll come down below this message and paste that in. All right. Um, so now you guys just got to change your title or your subject and say you have been unsubscribed. And um, you can put some message in here if you like. Uh, sorry to see you go. Please let us know if there's an issue. Sorry to see you go. Let us know if there is an issue with our service. Because you kind of want a user to come, be able to reach you and say, hey, uh, you know, I was getting like 87,000 emails from you a day. Well, there might be something wrong with your code. So, and you might not notice it. So that's something that you want to notify that, that, be notified of. So we'll save that. And now we're going to go back to our browser. And let's go ahead and go to unsubscribe. Un unsubscribe. And we'll go ahead and remove an email address. So, boom, unsubscribe. Hopefully, you get no errors. No errors. We got a green alert. And now we'll just go check our email here. Let me just a bunch of emails now. Ooh, HGTV sweepstakes. I get so much junk mail. Anyway, there we go. And there's our. Um, our message. So that's how we want it to work. And next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send HTML messages. Um, and what we're going to shoot for is to be able to send HTML and text uh, at the same time. That way, if a user is unable to receive HTML, at least they're still getting a message. Uh, that's what we're shooting for. Um, and then following that tutorial, uh, before we get off of newsletters, we're going to jump into. Um, actually setting up a way to send newsletters that are not automatically sent so that you know the back-end user can actually send them so I'll see you then